Hey everybody, it's Zapod Jam, and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky in the last episode. We went out to the northern desert in hopes of finding a time gear, but we didn't, which is unfortunate. But in this episode, we're going to be probably looking for more locations for a time gear, or something, I don't know. Ahem, <laughs> and that brings us back to today. Presently, the Great Dustnor and I are working out a new strategy. While we developed this strategy, we asked you to search for time gears on your own initiative. That is all. Alright everyone, work hard again today. Hooray. We're supposed to search on our own today, James. Where should we go? Hmm, I wonder. We can search all we want, but we don't have a clue. Oh, wait a second. Yesterday when we were right there. Yes, that's right. Yesterday at the quicksand pits, we assumed that it was dead end for a search. But maybe there really are secrets there. What's the matter? Are you off in another daydream? What? You wanna go back to quicksand desert? But we were there yesterday. We didn't find anything. What? When you were at quicksand desert, you experienced the same sensation you had at Fogbound Lake. Well then, that's settled, James. What you say must be true. Let's go there again. Back to Quicksand Desert. So, our objective has been determined, I guess. We are going to be heading back to Quicksand Desert. Seeing what we can find there. I will be doing preparations. Alright, we are ready to head out, so let's just go straight there. Well, we're back. But it still, still seems like there's nothing here. Just this white sand stretching out in front of us. The quicksand pits, obviously. Is there something more here? What kind of secrets are hidden here? It's very faint, but I can still feel it. This place, I know it somehow. But looking out over this... I have to admit, Chinx is right, there really is nothing here but the desert and the quicksand pits. And aside from those pits, there is nothing. Wait, wait a second. If there's only quicksand, that's the key to this mystery. There's no way forward, or is there? What do you think? Where should we look, James? What? What, what did you say? You want us to jump into the quicksand? Are you serious, James? Are you seriously suggesting that we should jump in? Okay, I trust you, James. I have faith in you. It's all thanks to you that I've come so far. <clears throat> During our first exploration. I put my faith in you that time too, James. I was able to go on then because you helped me to be courageous. My feelings haven't changed since then. So let's go for it, let's jump into the quicksand pit. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! Ow, oh, my backside. Where are we? Is this a cave? We fell through from up there. You were right! You are right, the secret swirled within the quicksand. Let's move it. It's time to go exploring, James. Let our time gear search begin. Indeed. Quicksand cave. Oh boy. This place. This place sucks. Especially for me. I do not like this dungeon very much. And it's even worse now that I have two... Technically three, because Larvitar could get hit by a ground type move, but many team members that are weak to the resident Pokemon. And yeah. It's not as long as the Northern Desert, but it certainly is long. I mean Kato wants to join us. 
So this place is basically just the Northern Desert 2.0. It's got most of the evolved forms of the Pokemon that appeared in the desert. And Larvitar for level 24. And I grew to level 21. Yeah, this dungeon can be pretty dangerous. Oh, great. Uh, it's the fastest way back. Right, I'm just gonna send the Gator back. Because I don't wanna waste Reviver Seed. As long as Shinx and Larvitar stay together, they should be fine. And they didn't stay together. Great. Great. Let me eat this. Nice, perfect. Yeah, warp, warp traps are dick moves. Especially on that particular tile. Shame screw to level 22. Alright. Almost there. I, uh... Shit. So, let's see, I wanna take out this. Okay, I guess I don't. We did not KO any of them. Close. Right, that could have gone better. This is trouble. This is looking right. This is troublesome. Okay, we're level 22. Doesn't look like I got anything for it though. Well, I mean, I did, but not a new move, which I could really use. And... okay. We're halfway there. Don't think I use any River Seeds, so we should be okay. We shall go on. Work Sand Pit. Avatar is level 25. Oh no. coming into play, but so you're really seeing how this can like really screw up your recovery. Shink screwed level 23. We're getting there. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. This is dangerous. Oops. 
so... Deal with them one at a time. That's generally your best bet. And I'm level 23. Right, I might just leave it at that. Oh no. Trying to go to level 24. I mean, normally I would probably suggest running away from all of those guys, but I mean, XP. Alright. That could have gone a lot worse. That's not good. If I get hit once, I'm basically dead. Laboratory is level 26. You're really starting to see the drain on my recovery. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to eat the head. Stungeon really just doesn't have any mercy. Right, here we go. This is... Fantastic. I didn't expect to see this. This huge lake sprawling underground. Look, something's glowing way out over there. That light. I'm sure I've seen it before. That's it, I've got it now. It's the same kind of light we saw at Fogwind Lake. That means that light could be coming from Time Gear. We need to get a closer look at it, James. Well, it went dark. Wait. What? Who are you? What? Well, who said that? Why? Why did you come here? Why? We just came to look for a time gear. Stay away from the time gear. You won't leave the time gear alone and I'll stop you. Who, who are you? I'm Mesprit. Here at the deep underground lake, I protect the time gear. Protect the time gear? I won't allow you to disturb the time gear. Get ready. Misunderstanding. So we have a boss battle with Mesprit. Uh, right. I don't think I have any items that are really particularly helpful here. No, not really. No, I'm gonna have to do this with some good old. I burned him. I'll set Shinx using Bite. I guess I'll just use Amber because stab. There we go, that was not hard. Er, but I can't let you take the time gear. Will you please listen? We didn't come here to steal your time gear, really. Don't lie to me. Yuxi used his telepathy to tell me what happened. I know that the time gear from Fogbind Lake was stolen. What? You heard it from Yuxi? That was your doing, wasn't it? No, we didn't do it. Then who's responsible? That would probably be... me. Who are you? G Grovile. That's Grovile. I must apologize, but I will be taking that time gear. Wah, stand aside. I- I won't. I will let you take the time gear. I have no choice then. Ugh. You lost that fight, you sustained serious damage, so don't push it. You're not getting by us. We won't let you take the time gear. Alright, sorry for this. Uh, he's so fast. 
Forgive me, I have no quarrel with any of you, but I'm taking that time gear. Uh, the time gear, that thief is taking it. I, I'm sorry, Nuxi must not have been talking about you. It was that Pokemon, I'm sorry for doubting you. Oh, this is bad. We have to get out of here. Why? Well, what's happening? It's happening because the thief took the time here. So time in this whole area. Time will stop all around the underground lake. What? If we don't hurry, we'll be trapped in time. Hurry, run with all your might. Clouds lifted over the quicksand cave and the vicinities of the arid area. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Chapter 12, the only option. Z thank you for helping with our criminal investigations. Z we have Mesprit under, under protection, her safety is assured. We are dedicating all resources to the pursuit of Grovile. If you come across any information related to this case, please let, let us know. We must all cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. That, that is all, now please excuse us. My my, I'm absolutely astonished. So there was a lake deep under the northern desert, and that wasn't all. The time gear was also down there. Yes, but about that time gear, Grovel stole it, and we failed to even slow down Grovel. In the end, that's the same as doing nothing at all. That's not true, by golly, you all did great work. Hey hey, I think so too. Team Flashfire can be really proud, but it's a shame about this whole thing. There's no clue telling us what we should do next, right? Hey hey, if we had only one tiny hint. I must agree. Where will Grovel strike next? We have no way of knowing. It's too bad that the opportunity to catch him slipped away. We're back to square one. Maybe not. Not necessarily. Dust nor, sir? There are some clues. One time gear was at Fogbound Lake, guarded by Yuxi, correct? Another time gear was at the Underground Lake, guarded by Mesprit. Oh, that reminds me. Mesprit told us something interesting. Mesprit knew that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Yuxi alerted her by telepathy. Incredible. Well, that is really something. I should have known. There is an ancient legend. It is believed that Yuxi is the being of knowledge and that Mesprit is the being of emotion, but three Pokemon in total represent the spiritual world and are said to keep the world in balance. Th three? So besides Yuxi and Mesprit, there is another Pokemon like them? Yes, the last of the trio is his elf, known as the being of willpower. Yuxi and Mesprit are both guarded time gears, therefore his elf may likely be protecting a time gear. Oh, I see. If we could locate his, his elf, we may find a time gear with a Pokemon. If I'm mispronouncing his elf, I'm sorry, but that's always how I've pronounced it. We may have to ch a chance to seeing that Thief Groval appear. That's correct. Those three Pokemon, Yuxi, Mesprit, and his elf, all three are said to dwell at lakes. It's a fact that both Yuxi and Mesprit were encountered at lakes. As such, I believe that Azelf will be found at a lake somewhere. Let's keep something in mind. Yuxi's lake was located on a high plateau. Mesprit's lake was hidden far beneath a desert. In both cases, the lakes were in unusual places. So the lake where Azelf lives will be somewhere that we least expect it to be. I get it now. You're saying we shouldn't look for water in the usual places. My, 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 I commend you on your wisdom, Dustmore, sir. I feel renewed admiration for you. Thank you, it's really nothing. No, no, we revere, we too revere you. First, it was you, Dustmore, sir, who directed us to the northern desert. Turned out there was a time gear far below the desert. So, Dustmore, sir, your insight was entirely correct. Oh, so maybe the other places we searched, the eastern forest and Crystal Cave, those places could still be hiding their secrets from us. Ah, I have an idea. Bidoof. Yup, yup, you want me? What can I do for you? I have a request. That crystal you picked up previously. May I borrow it briefly? M my crystal? N no, no siree. That's my precious treasure, by golly. Uh, of course, but rest assured we won't take it away or do anything of the sort. Now, James. There's something I would like you to do, James. Please touch Bidoof's crystal. She touched the crystal. 
The secret remains hidden in Crystal Cave. If Jane touches the time crystal, time gear, huh, it may trigger the dimensional scream. It may trigger a vision. I see. That's what this is about. Dimensional scream? What's that? Special ability that James has. Sometimes when James touches something, then James has a vision of an event in the past or the future that involves it. Oh my gosh, really? Hey, 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 that's really- there's really an ability like that? I desperately wish to borrow the crystal because of James's ability. Please, may we? Well, now you have to. Oh, okay, I can't refuse a reason like that. It's crystal. What will it reveal? Everyone's watching. I don't know if I'll see anything, but I need to concentrate. Well... Here it comes. Lizziness is starting. Ugh. Ugh. And I will take it. Time gear. No, you can't take it. Never. That was... Grova was trying to steal a time gear. There was also another Pokemon. Was it a Zelf? Anyway, the crystal did trigger a vision. Did you see anything, James? What? You saw Grova knock out a Pokemon? One that you'd never seen before? And then he tried to steal a time gear. Oh my gosh, your ability is thrilling. How did you get to see all that, by golly? It's mighty hard for me to grasp. So that Pokemon you couldn't recognize, do you think it might be his elf? Probably. I I have a question for James too. Did you see the past, James, or was that in the future? Come to think of it, visions in the past, visions in the future. It's never clear when my visions take place. So you're not sure if it's in the past or the future? Well then, since it's possible to tell if the vision is of the future or the past, then James's vision may very, very well be of the past. In that case, Time Gear may have already been stolen from there. Oh, you're saying we may be already be too late? I don't think so. Everyone please hold on. Yes, it is true that it may have been a vision of the past, but it could have been a vision of the future. If you'll be so kind, could you remind us what Mesprit said, Shinx? Who informed Mesprit via telepathy that a Time Gear was stolen? If I recall correctly, did you say that it was Yuxi? Hmm. Yeah, there's no mistake. But the name is Elf? Never heard it before. The name is Elf is new to me. I only heard it today from you, Dosmore, sir. Then there's still a chance. Mesprit claimed that as Elf had learned her about the stolen kind gear, then James' dimensional screen would be surely be from the past. But that was not the case. Mesprit did not mention his Elf. Therefore, it's possible that the event happens in the future. I see. One more point, and this is the sure thing. Upon touching the crystal, James experienced the dimensional screen. The vision indicated the presence of a time gear, which means maybe what we seek is in Crystal Cave. Perhaps there is a passage there that leads to a time gear. Yeah, maybe it is there. Of course, it may already be too late, or it may still have time. As long as a chance remains, we must never give up. It's our only option. Hey, hey, absolutely. There's no other choice. We have to pin our hopes on this. Good thinking, Dustnor. Sorry, yup, yup. Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement. Let's go, everyone. Let's search Crystal Cave. But Snorri, sir, there's only one thing to do, and that's explore Crystal Cave. Let's go. The whole guild will be involved. Onward to Crystal Cave. Guildmaster, please issue the call to duty. Guildmaster. Hmm, Guildmaster. Guildmaster, are you with us? Huh? Hey, you, you gotta be kidding. No, it, it looks like... He's fully asleep. With his eyes wide open, too. Uh, I don't know if this just won't do. Everyone might notice that the Guildmaster is sleeping. I must rise and survive. Guildmaster! Huh? Chatot? Yes, Guildmaster. Er, I mean, yes, Guildmaster. T take it from the top, there it was. Everyone, we're going after Grovow. Hooray. Let's go to Crystal Cave. Yee, let's go. I will accompany you to Crystal Cave. Let's do our best, everyone. Let's 
get going to James Alder Crystal Cave. So we have our objective. We must now explore Crystal Cave to see if we can find a time gear there. So that will be in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you have any thoughts, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.